Hi, I'm Doug Hansel, one of the product designers here at Avid for Media Composer. Many of you have spoken to us about improving our audio keyframes and how we manipulate them in the timeline. Today in version 6.5, I'm going to show you what we've done. Taking a look in the timeline, if you haven't already opened it, you'd want to open the track control panel to manipulate keyframes. And a lot of you are probably used to just setting a static level, and you can do that with clip gain. And that's where you can go in with the audio mixer and you set a level for the entire clip and then you can have a dissolve between the uh, clips. And that's one way to do uh, leveling of your audio. But if you haven't tried it yet, you should really try volume automation where you can have much more precise control over your audio. So first thing, we couldn't really copy and paste keyframes uh, very easily before. So now we've introduced the ability to copy based on the entire clip based on a region between in and out marks or individual keyframe selections themselves. So let's start out with the whole clip version first. So I've selected a clip here, and all I have to do is say Command C for copy. And let's say we wanted to paste that clip over into this clip, or paste the keyframes as it were. Now if I just said Command V, if I just said paste, obviously we would paste the entire clip. That's not what we want. So we have a special Shift Command V which will just paste automation. So we have a choice here of gain or pan, because I have both on the track apparently. If I say OK, just give me gain, and it pastes the audio gain keyframes in there. So that's one way to do it. I'll undo that. Let's say we want to do a region. Let's go down uh, in track three here for that. Let's say we want to mark an in here and an out over there, and we're saying three, and I'm going to say Command C again for copy, and this time let's say you know, we're going to go to track two, and we'll move the blue bar down here, clear our marks, and say again, paste special Shift Command V, and just the gain, please, and there comes the gain keyframes into a different track. So all of that impossible before, so I think you'll agree it's a pretty cool new feature, uh, but it doesn't end there because. What I really think is slick is the ability to individually select keyframes. So let's say we want to grab those four. So all I did is hold down Option. I'll just do it again here and draw my little lasso box. And now I can grab those keyframes. And this is the new way to change volume. Before, if you remember, you'd set an in and out point, And then you could grab a keyframe and it would change all of them in between the in and out points. Now. Uh, you don't need to do that. You just simply lasso the keyframes you want and grab them and you're changing the volume. And you can see down here we have a little indication of how many dB uh, we're moving the particular key keyframe that we've grabbed. Also, this is something that's brand new. Is if, Let's go ahead and lasso an even larger group here. If I want to slide that uh, group of keyframes left and right in time, I can do that simply by holding the Option modifier and now I can drag them back and forth in time. Something else we want to look at now is the ability to do this with keyboard commands. So if I just want to nudge something up or down a couple dB, I can do that now with my, my arrow keys. So let's take these keyframes here and let's actually hold shift and add uh, an odd little selection here. And now if I push the uh, up arrow with a modifier on the Mac, it's uh, command shift, control shift on the PC. If I push my up arrow now, you can see how I can nudge these by a dB at a time. And down here in my display, you'll notice that when I do this, I get a delta symbol that's showing me the overall delta of plus 7 dB for all of those, regardless of where they started. So that's pretty slick. So there's that, and then you'd obviously want to be able to do the same like we just showed left and right. So same modifier, command, shift, and left and right uh, arrow keys. And now I'm moving my keyframes back and forth a frame at a time. So let's say you've got keyframes all written down, sounding pretty good, but there's still some changes to be made. So you're, as always, trimming. So here's a case where I've actually trimmed the audio. And sure enough, I have trimmed over keyframes. And now one of my keyframes is, is basically keeping me from being able to change the end point of that that uh, automation graph there. So uh, there, I don't have a keyframe there. And if we take a sneak peek, we 
we trim over here, sure enough, there's a hidden keyframe over here that's controlling the way that that graph works. Now, of course, I could go through and untrim all my audio to fix this, but that's really not solving the problem. So what you ask us to do is to let you, uh, let you delete hidden keyframes. So if you want to delete a hidden keyframe, you simply just need to park near the graph and right click, and here you can see I can delete a hidden keyframe, which happens to be to my right. If I'm over on the left-hand side of the edit, um, I can also do a right click, and sure enough, there must be one here too, delete hidden keyframes to the left. So what does this do? Let's take a look at it in this case. If I delete the hidden keyframe here, delete hidden right, watch what happens to that graph. So now I don't have that shadow hidden keyframe lurking behind the edit that's causing me to have a gain ramp I don't want. And of course, maybe I want to actually put a new keyframe in here. And one of the ways we would have done that before, of course, is we have a new keyframe button. That's all still here, but we thought it'd be nice also to be able to add keyframes directly in the timeline. So now let's hold down uh, Command and Shift, and you'll notice I get a little cursor here that lets me add keyframes directly in the timeline where, wherever I'd like. So last but not least, as a part of the work that was done to do this by engineering, we unlocked a secret feature, which everybody's really excited about, and that is the ability to select discontiguous segments, and now I can actually pick them up and drag them. Thanks a lot for the feedback. I hope you enjoy using the new keyframe controls. We certainly enjoyed making them better for you. Thanks a lot.